My name is Joe Bowen. Welcome to our episode of Campus Tour. We are a high school located in Blacksburg, Virginia on this lovely day, as you can see. And we are a part of a marketing team that has hit crucial challenges due to COVID-19. See, half of our students were split up into half virtual, half in person. So it's been very hard to connect with them. But due to this campus tour project, we were able to connect and have a lot of fun with it. So with the help of a couple of teachers and students, we're gonna be taking you through four segments today. Are you sure? Faculty flex, challenge accepted, and I'm weak. I don't know about you, but I heard I'm weak really got us all going. What do you think about that? I think that it was kind of funny and it, it was a very close match up until the end. I heard faculty flex was a doozy too. Oh, that push up competition was something else. Well, all that and more in the coming segments. For now, let's take you to Faculty Flex. Okay, we have Mr. Morgan here. Tell us a bit about yourself. So I teach world history, I teach American government, uh, very active, physical. Uh, I like to work outside, like to uh, stay in shape, and I don't work out in the gym, just work on the farm, so I think that the farm strength is gonna be the gym strength today. Okay. Hello, my name is Coach Day. I'm a teacher, help the teacher here at Blacksburg High School. I also coach basketball. Um, I really enjoy fitness, and working out and exercising, and trying to stay healthy, eating healthy, and doing things that's good for yourself. Uh, it should be a really good competition. But I think being a healthy PE teacher, I got the dips on this one. Yep. Hey there, uh, I'm Eddie Sloss. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a teacher here at Blacksburg High School. I teach PE and driver's education. Uh, also the football coach. Uh, in addition to that, uh, I believe I'm gonna win today because I think good things happen to good people. Coming in third, we have Mr. Morgan. How do you feel about your performance today? Uh, a little bit sore today. I didn't eat my Wheaties, didn't eat my green beans and my spinach. So, you know, third place is where you end up like that. Yeah, it'll happen, it'll happen. Yeah, it's good though. Coming in second place, we have Mr. Sloss. How do you feel about your performance today? I feel really good about it. I didn't come in first place, didn't come in last place. Uh, I am the first loser. Uh, but anyway, so feel good. I PR'd today. Uh, what my previous record was, I have no idea, but I'm sure it was better. We're coming in first place with an amazing 75 push ups, we have Coach Day. Uh, How do you feel about your performance today? I feel good. That was a great competition. I uh, had some good studs over there I went against, and I uh, thought it was a good, good, good job. Feel, feel blessed to come out the winners. Thank you. Dang, that faculty flex really came down to the wire. I had all my money on sloths there. I was thinking the same thing, but they got going and Coach Day started pumping them things out. Yeah, the key to those competitions is you just never stop. Let's be honest though, we both knew Mr. Morgan was going to lose. That's very true, but he gave it his best shot. All right now, let's take you to Challenge Accepted. What we're doing today is a three-point shootout. Each of us is gonna take 15 shots. But the twist is, before we shoot, we have to spin a challenge wheel, and we're either gonna to have to shoot dizzy or underhanded. So, let's get started and see who's gonna win this challenge three-point shootout. So what's your name? Carter Hill. And why are you gonna win this three-point shootout? Because I got that MJ shot coursing through my veins. What's your name? Robert Cowan. Why do you think you're gonna win? 
I, I got the wettest jumper this side of Virginia. All right, I'm gonna spin. Underhand, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm gonna spin. Ooh, I got underhand too. Oh, oh, that is elite. Carter's gonna take his 15 underhand shot. Guys, Carter made one, so I only need two to win. Let's get this. Two more. All right, Carter and I both tied with one make, so we're gonna go to OT. We're each gonna shoot five normal three pointers, and whoever makes the most of those five takes the cake. guys well as you saw I just took home the cake had to go to OT but a uh, big win for me today uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next segment man who could have thought two people could have missed as many three-pointers as Robert and Carter just did respectfully man they were pretty bad at shooting those guys are awful at basketball that's true my grandma could hit more shots than they could mine too I counted at least six air balls <laughs> I thought there was 10 in there. I was thinking the same thing. It had to be at least more than six. Yeah, who knows? But there was a lot in there, nonetheless. All right, let's take you to Are You Sure? Welcome to Are You Sure? Let's meet our contestants. First, we have Alexis. Hey guys. Say hi. And second, we have Sophia. Hi. Okay, so Are You Sure? is all about the Mandela Effect and a large group of people remembering something one way even though that isn't true. Let's get started with question one. The Monopoly Man. Did he have a monocle or no monocle? Contestants, you guys both said two, no monocle, and that is correct. Question two. Forward, which way is the F properly written? Contestants say both one, and that is also correct. So we are at a tie game 2-2. Two, two. Question three, which one is correctly written as Fruit Loops? 
We have a two and a one. And this is Alex. Alexis got this correct. So Alexis is now in the lead by one. Kit Kats, does it have a dash in between? Contestants. We have another division and it is two. So now we are back to a tied game. Three, three all. Question five, is there a Z at the end of Cheez-Its? Contestants say, another division between them. It is no Z. So that means two, Alec uh, Sophia is in the lead. Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? Which one is correct? We have another division. And Alexis got this right and it is back to a tie game. Now does Fruit of the Bloom have a cornucopia or no cornucopia? There is no cornucopia, so Sophia is correct here. Question eight, did Pikachu have a black stripe at the end of its tail? Contestants. There is no black stripe, so Alexis is back tied with Sophia. Double stuffed, is there two Fs or just one? Contestants say two and one. There is only one, so now Alexis has taken the lead. And final question, is it the Flintstones or the Flintstones? And another division, it is two. So Alexis, congratulations. You are the winner of Thank Are You, you Sure? <laughs> How do you feel? I feel amazing. I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you guys have a good day. Man, that Mandela effect really got me confused in that one. That game came down to the wire. Some of them in there, like the Fruit of the Loops? Who knew? What about the Double Stuff Oreos? That one was crazy. Yeah, for sure. Fruit of the Loom, too? Who knew that they didn't have the Cornucopia? Those were all pretty wild, but now let's take you to our final segment with I'm Weed. Hello and welcome to the Om Week segment. Our two competitors were Ethan and Danny. So Ethan, why do you think you're gonna win? Uh, Danny isn't funny and he has terrible jokes. So Danny, why do you think you're gonna be Ethan? Because he laughs at everything even if it's not funny. All right, as you can tell, we have a very competitive duo for this segment. Now, now for the rules of the game. Each person tells five jokes to the other person who has water in their mouth. And the person who can't laugh at the most jokes wins. All right, Ethan, you'll be going first. Where do you find a cow with no legs? Right where you left it. Why aren't koalas actually bears? They don't meet all of the qualifications. <laughs> <laughs> what did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? This tastes a little funny. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? <laughs> a milkshake. <laughs> Why are frogs so happy? Because they eat whatever bugs. <laughs> okay, so Ethan messed up two out of five times. Now it's Danny's turn. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up on its own? It was too tired. <laughs> what do you call a train carrying bubblegum? A choo-choo train. <laughs> Why did the M&M go to school? <laughs> he wanted to become a smarty. <laughs> Why do bees have sticky hair? <laughs> Because they use honeycomb. <laughs> Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> so Danny, how did you pull off the win against Ethan? He just wasn't funny. I, I expected him to not be funny and I was right. So Ethan, how, how come you didn't beat Danny? Uh, his jokes were a lot funnier than I thought. They would be. That's all for Om Week. Hope you enjoyed. Those jokes in Om Week had me rolling. 
I know, they almost knocked my socks off. The one with the koala had me dying. I thought we even had that in the bag, but Danny and Jokes just kept him going. I know, it's a close match nonetheless. Alright guys, well, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Campus School. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and share with all your family and friends. It would really help us out with our campus store competition. And thanks for watching. Thanks.